Jay-Z and Oprah collaborate, LA Laker Lamar Odom and Khloe Kardashian set to tie the knot, and we team up with Global Grind at this year's VH1 Hip Hop Honors. All that and more in this week's Hip Hollywood Weekly Wrap. Let's start with the Hip Hollywood Global Grind exclusive. On Wednesday, we teamed up with the world's top African-American website to cover VH1's annual Hip Hop Honors. This year, they dedicated the entire show to one of the most successful music labels of all time, Def Jam. We caught up with some of the stars that hit the red carpet. Check it out. You got Rick Rubin, white dude, NYU. You got Russell Simmons, black dude, don't know what the hell to do with his life, NYU. Two college students, by the way. Hey, now, these two guys get together. Rick got the rock sound and the engineering knowledge. He know how to put a record together. Russell know how to run his mouth. The Beastie Boys, LL Cool J, Run DMC, all started at this label. I don't even need to say anything else. It's legendary. This is where hip hop, you know, it's like they're very, um, I would definitely say Def Jam is one of those labels that you could say was the start of like hip hop. There's been a consistent uh, um, effort to protect the brand. The logo has always been, the logo represents hip hop. Whether it's Rihanna or MC Search or the Beastie Boys or Public Enemy or DMX, all of it is hip hop. And all of it is the same voice from the same struggle. You know, people come from poverty. Are the, are the leaders in this case, are the biggest voices in this case in America. Now, while we were there, we also talked to a couple of folks about new music on the horizon. Just got back from LA, been working on the new album with a bunch of new producers. Gonna be releasing my album on my company, Written Entertainment, which I'm really excited about, so stay tuned. September 29th, Ghost Dini, Wizard of Poetry. It's in store, it's gonna hit the shelves, and um, y'all gonna see. I mean, it's quite different from what Ray had put down, but it's still me. It's like a, um, it's a grown man album. It's real grown, you know what I mean? So, y'all little boys don't even touch that. Only one person in this big, beautiful world can have Oprah rocking the mic, and that's Jay-Z. Well, Thursday, Hope sat down with Oprah with what is probably an extension of what they talked about in this month's issue of O Magazine. In the interview, they talked about music, his business ventures, growing up fatherless, Selling drugs and in true queen of the universe style, Oprah asked Jay about his thoughts on the Rihanna Chris Brown case. Yeah, I pretty much spoke to uh, Rihanna um, about it. it. Was one of those situations because she's young. You know, they're both young, and um, it was either a situation where she can grow, uh -huh. and there's a uh, contention of young um, people that's going through the same sort of situation, and no one. Is their voice. Right. She can be their hero or she can choose not to uh, grow from this. Also, congrats to Jay for having the number one album three weeks in a row. After a whopping month long love affair, Khloe Kardashian and NBA baller Lamar Odom are getting hitched this Sunday. Yep, some of us can't even get a date and these two get married after a month. Well, after tons of rumors swirling about whether or not they're gonna get married or not, Chloe confirmed that the two are actually getting married. And get this, attention all you groupies out there, the entire Lakers squad was invited. Get your game up, ladies. All right, y'all, you already know how much we love and leverage YouTube phenomenon, come on, son. So we had to ask him what the story is behind the sensation. Check it out. Come on, son. Come on, son, is a, is a phenomenon. It's, it's like my, my version of the news. It's what's going on because certain things out there make people say, come on, son, get the f*** out of here with that. You know what I mean? Certain people do stuff. So I think that you should say, come on, son. Come on, son. Now, since we're on the subject of internet sensations, there's one man, one man out there that truly makes my heart sing, and his name is Brother Franklin. Brother Franklin, I don't know who you are. I don't, I don't know where you are. Actually, I do that you're in Houston. But I just want to tell you that you make my heart sing. And for those of you who haven't seen the magic of Brother Franklin, check it out. Brother Franklin, thank you, thank you for putting a smile on my face. Me and the millions of other people that watch our videos, 
every single day. Work it out with a friend. Work it out. Well, that does it for me, but before we wrap things up, make sure you check us out every day at hiphollywood.com, follow us on Twitter, and every morning check us out on our Daily Dish on Ustream. And because I like you a lot, I'm going to leave you with some more Brother Franklin. See you next week.